Okay, we are in Club Hell in Wiest, Belgium, and we are at the metal festival Hell Open Air. With me is Sonia Anubis from the band Cobra Spell. Thank you very much, first of all, Sonia, for this interview. Quick interview because you're very busy. First of all, what's Cobra Spell? Can you introduce the band a little bit, please? What kind of metal? Who is in the band, etc.? So. It's okay. Yeah. I will. Cobra Spell is a, a fusion of heavy metal rock from the 80s very influenced by 80s music. It's an all-female formation, all women. Uh -huh. um, and we're formed by Christina on vocals. We have Ale on drums. We have Roxy on bass. Uh -huh. And we have Noelle on the guitar. And lastly, myself on the guitars. <laughs> so we are a five-member uh, band. And nice. we're all international. So yeah. Venezuela, Brazil, Spain, and Dutch. Myself. It's crazy. I mean, and <laughs> I have to have a and, very big description. And you're <laughs> such a young band, founded in 2019, if yes. I'm not just mistaken. In the summer of and 2019. All the band members are so young, but very experienced. If you look a little bit, they are all so it's, diamonds. Yeah. They are all incredibly professional, talented women. Uh huh. And they are really good at what they do and they have fantastic personalities they're hardworking. i'm very extremely lucky to work with this women and when you go to a show or we just saw your show it, it's exploding it's an energy it's yeah. it's totally crazy there's a lot of movement there's a lot energy, of we it's, can, it's fantastic i it's my favorite <laughs> thing in the world but we can only reach it with thank you to, thanks to the audience true that's true without the audience we cannot yeah of course you have to energy, so. but you get the energy back from so, the audience yeah, too so it was great today yeah 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 great um it's the female fronted band uh, day let's say today yeah how important do you feel are women or females in metal in general of course we know girl school doro they are for centuries are going yeah. uh, but there's a let's say an evolution I that more and more bands have a female vocalist mm -hmm. or are fully like your band fully uh, female band uh, you see that more and more how important do you think is I that think it's extremely important to have female role models in the genre of music that we play in there's so little women still um when it, it's in there's an imbalance of gender in the in the music that we play yeah. you can see it's getting better slowly yeah but still uh, the way that we are treated sometimes it's not really fair okay in yeah. certain moments That's or true. you can see that there is a lot of um stereotyping going on or there's sometimes very old school minded comments okay. going to women and there's a lot that we can change yeah, think, yeah, in, yeah. In, in the society in general and therefore we need more role models to inspire mm -hmm. young women to show that we can do this you know and True. myself when i was a young girl i was looking at joe bench the bass player from both thrower yeah yeah uh, that metal band i was a huge fan from both thrower and i was hugely inspired by these women okay and seeing uh, uh, women they're Doing. dominating the stage yeah it's very impressive True. Yeah. and it's i think and to this day, we still need that kind of energy. True, true. It's important. Every, every time more and more, more. Yeah, you're doing a great job. So, uh, recently, or let's say, your the first full album, full length album was um, released. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. It's Thank really you. a mix of different kind of songs, let's say, for example. What can you say more about the album? Why should we buy it? What's the album about? It's Share about some. A rebellion? A rebellious empowering album for you know for the female energy uh, for rock and roll um, sexual liberation for yeah. women and you know freedom of expression um, for me it's just a free rock and roll album for women yeah and uh -huh. just like with a, a little bit of the mentality of the 80s but changing up the the gender roles mm -hmm. because in the 80s it was all like men um, True. Being like very like mm. dressing up and very uh, very outrageously, male. you know, and it yeah. was all like the women have to be the groupies and the women yeah. and, and the men have to be the music talented the, the artist you know? and the, the and this was like always this role and I, I didn't see any glam metal band other than Vixen maybe or yeah. Doro in the heavy metal yeah. True. that was impressive to me True. in this time. Yeah. Um, like uh -huh. there's a lot of other 
fantastic female um, music sure. bands and musicians. So. In this style, in this glam 80s music that I like, I yeah. didn't see like this women expressing themselves like Blackie Lawless, for example, or Jean uh -huh. Simmons. Because if you do that, you get comments like, "Oh, you're just doing that for attention," yeah. or "Just do it, just Typical. doing that to, to get um, certain." Uh, yeah, for other reasons than for money or yeah. for fame. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, true. But no, it's a passion that's behind that. Of course. That. So, yeah. And when you see the band, this album, all the it's a scream to. to yeah, say, yeah, yeah, it's okay for us to do this. Important, and definitely. It doesn't, you know. And it's, 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 a, it's a fuck you to all those people that that say these comments, and they will Absolutely. keep doing it, but I don't care. Absolutely, so it's it a, anyway. a very important and a very great statement. Let's say it like that. Yeah. Um, last question: Future plans? You did, just did the tour in Spain. Yes. Now this festival. What are the next months coming or the rest of the year? So very soon, in five days, <laughs> we're playing in Metal Power Festival in Germany. Uh, we have in July a South American tour. Yeah. So we're, yeah. we're playing many fantastic countries: Mexico, Argentina. Crazy. Amazing. Fantastic. I am so excited. Yeah. Brazil. Yeah, fantastic. And we are playing in some other countries for the first <laughs> time, like the UK, uh, Romania, wow. uh, many other countries. Super. And next year we have uh -huh. a European tour. Okay, so then like we see you each other European again tour. here, yes. maybe or somewhere else in Belgium. Oh wow! Yeah, <laughs> that's so going to be a blast. So that's, that's going to be like a, a lot of these listeners will be like probably oh, from right. Belgium, yeah. Netherlands, and maybe Germany. Uh -huh. So if you want to see us this year, will be a little bit more <laughs> silent. <for us. laughs> Or we have, have to move. To save your energies or, or, for 2025 because we are going to tour okay. two months in Germany a lot. Super, the German <laughs> save viewers. Save your money to buy that ticket. <laughs> the German viewers will love to hear yeah, this. I so know they ask like, come to yeah, Germany. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are looking forward to and that. Belgium, of course, but this is for Belgium. Yeah, of course, we're looking forward to that very yeah. much. Uh, thank you so much for your time here. Thank you. Good luck with everything. With <laughs> all that is coming on your path with the traveling. Stay safe, stay good, stay healthy. <laughs> stay wild. And stay wild and enjoy as you always do on the stage. While watching, just why I want just to finish the interview. I, want, I was wondering, watching you on the stage, all the, all the band members are super talented, super crazy, super <laughs> energetic. But I was wondering, I think that Sonia is born with a guitar in her hands. That that I think. Oh <laughs> my fucking god! But mm, that's not of this earth. But to, to quote Joe when I was born. Joe Satriani, not of this earth. Mm. I, I, I cannot be compared to those heroes. No, no, no. But, but I can tell you a funny you're, thing. Okay. That nobody knows. No, but I don't tell. But it. when I was born. <laughs> it's a yeah, funny story. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I was born, I pulled the, you know, the the stethoscope. What is this called? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what it's called. The stethoscope. Yeah. yeah. From the doctor, and I pulled it. Bam. From the doctor. When I was born. So wild. And they said, "Oh, this girl is gonna be very so spicy. wild already." <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and I became a little bit crazy. Keep it. Since then. <laughs> keep, please keep it that way and but enjoy. But it wasn't the guitar. It wasn't related to the guitar. <laughs> no, but Maybe it was a starting point. Stay wild and stay crazy. Stay spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for this interview. So now good luck with everything. See you next year in Belgium here again. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Is it good?